Hey everyone, it's Cash. In today's adventure, we're going to, well, sort of, combine two subjects that I'm known to vlog. Hot sauce and notable graves. Today, we're going to take a look at the grave of Jacob Frank, the man responsible for Frank's hot sauce. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. There's a lot I could say about Jacob's life, so I'll just give you the highlights. He started his company in the 1890s, and he was originally a traveling salesman for over 10 years and he decided to build a business by putting bulk food in containers and that way it made it more convenient for people who bought the food and it kept it more sanitary. At the age of 28 he founded the Frank Tea and Spice Company in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1896 and he worked with his brothers Emil and Charles. He sold over 500 different products by 1906 from tea and spice to peanut butter and olives. Jacob went to New Iberia, Louisiana and met Adam Estelette, and he was one of the growers with whom he worked, and together they developed a hot sauce using cayenne peppers that was an immediate success, and in 1920, America had Frank's hot sauce. The peppers were harvested, then brined or pickled before shipping them by barge from New Orleans to Cincinnati up the Mississippi, and in Cincinnati, they were ground and packaged. By the 1960s, you could find Frank's hot sauce in most well-stocked kitchens. And in 1964, Teresa Bellissimo, co-owner of the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, deep-fried chicken wings and tossed them in a mixture of Frank's hot sauce and melted butter. And it is said to have started the Buffalo wing craze. When you think of Frank's hot sauce, some of you may recall the commercial where Ethel, the little old lady, would say, I put that on everything. That ad campaign was launched in 2008 and it resulted in double-digit growth for Frank's Hot Sauce. In 2010, Frank's Hot Sauce became the number one hot sauce in North America. On September 22, 1941, Jacob Frank died in a New York hospital where he had been ill for the last six months. He had been in poor health before going to New York and had undergone two surgeries in the last year and a half. He was survived by his wife, Jenny, son, John, who was also secretary and treasurer of the company, as well as daughter Eugene, sister Martha, and his three brothers, Alfred, Emil, and Charles. On September 7, 1963, Jacob Frank's wife, Jenny, died at age 82. Daughter Esther Rosenthal and daughter-in-law, Catherine Frank, each inherited half of the bulk of the estate. She also left $5,000 each to four of her grandchildren. And to the right of Jacob's grave is Selma Frank, and she was Emil's wife. Next to Selma's grave is her husband, Emil. He was also Jacob's brother. Buried next to Emil is John J. Frank, and he was Jacob's son. And to the right of John are the graves of Alfred and Charles Frank, Jacob's brothers. Two graves to the left of Jacob is his sister, Martha. And between Jacob and Martha's grave is Jacob's wife, Jenny Strauss Frank. And if you ever wonder who played Ethel, she was played by actress Jean Hamilton from Canada. A three-time cancer survivor, she was 86 years old when she auditioned for the role. As you can see, Jacob Frank and Frank's Hot Sauce has a fascinating history, and I just scraped the surface. And in case you're wondering what's the difference between Frank's Hot Sauce and the McElhenney family's Tabasco Sauce, Tabasco Sauce uses Tabasco peppers, and Frank's Hot Sauce uses cayenne. And in the comments below, tell me, what's your favorite hot sauce? Do you like the big labels like Tabasco and Frank's, or do you like the small batch craft hot sauces? And in the description box below, I'll have links to my Patreon, my PayPal, my Teespring. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, share in your social media. Until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.